why do we need a new classification? You know, we always felt, yeah, we should because ours kind of is not so great. And, but yet we sort of said, what are the things that a new classification would do? Um, and how could we create a classification that would actually serve many purposes? So we put together goals we thought were important. I think first of all, we've categorized malarian anomalies and included a wide spectrum of them. So I think we've really improved the classification. I think the classification makes sense. Um, we're trying to, to, to really standardize terminology and better communication between our colleagues. It's very clear when you say to somebody, I've got a complete septate uterus with an obstructed right hemivagina associated with right renal agenesis. I mean, you know what's going on. So I think it's really important tool also to educate people on the presence of malarian anomalies. I mean, a lot of people have never seen a complete septate uterus. And I think that um, it is really important to be aware of these different anomalies. The other thing is to use the tool to contrast different anomalies and really refine a diagnosis. And all of this really is geared towards improving patient care. And I think that's really where this tool comes in. And the hope is that we can really better improve patient care.